right, yeah, that's right. Great and glorious, soon to be famous one day. Nick Dutch back on the camera again for another delightful tarot reading. We've got a YouTube user inquirer called JG Chick, who's curious in having a reading about the love of her life and wants to make sure that they're going to be together in the future and wants to know whether this person still loves her and all that kind of wonderful stuff. So, <laughs> we just have a quick look and see what kind of things are coming through. Okay, still using the Book of Thoth Tarot? Well, it's I prefer it. It's easier for me to read. It's the one I use professionally, so we'll see what kind of things are coming through for you today. It'll be a standard eight-card relationship reading to see what kind of thoughts, feelings, moods, and energies come through. Bear with me a second, please. Okay, right, what I've done is I've laid out the spread so, you know, you can get a feeling for what's happening here. I'm going to show you the cards as I do once in a while, not always, and see what comes through. I will say very quickly to those who've made requests for readings in the comment section, please don't do that, naughty naughty, okay, because I can't keep track of doing them in order, so do try and send them through in private messages. But what I'll do is I'll get straight on with this one, we'll take it from there. Okay, here we go. That's the future part of the reading. That's the forces between you, or what I call the forces between you, which is essentially defines and describes the connection that you've got. And then we got the signs on the love of your life's side of the reading, and on your side of the reading. This is painting a very interesting and intriguing picture. It's almost like you haven't had all that much communication from this individual. There's a sense of a feeling of isolation, a sense of frustration associated with that. The Hermit card often deals with that sense of isolation and a sense of feeling that you don't quite have the connectivity that you're after. But you've got the wisdom, you've got the knowledge that there is something there. That tiny little spark of joy, so to speak, and also being illuminated by your wisdom, but knowing that there are some kind of threats or challenges against this relationship that might make it harder for things to actually work out, but, but still knowing that sort of connected feeling that there is still something there. Now, there are some communication oriented signs here. That's very good. That's very positive. But it's not quite, not quite gelling, not quite at that present point in time. Right, the forces between you, the thing which defines the connection. Happiness, but with a slightly bitter twist. You're not quite there. There is love, there's definitely love there on both sides of the reading without the shadow of a doubt. I feel that quite strongly, I can see that, okay? So that aspect, the emotional aspect, seems to be in place. On the love of your life side of the reading, very complex dynamic there. If I was to look at this straight out, I would say there's some kind of other forms of distraction holding this person back. But there is a sense of there being some passion and some willpower which is directed towards yourself, which is, of course, in its own right, a very positive thing. And with a sense of there being some new beginnings, almost as if there's some, some kind of other issues that this person somehow got to get rid of or try and move away from, so that the connection between you and the love of your life can actually work out in accordance with the plan. And when that happens, we'll start to see a reading with signs maybe this way up, okay? Hypothetically, depending upon what I'm feeling, what else I'm seeing, and the rest of it. But the story is talking about a foundation. For some reason, I've just had a vision come through to me of what looks like a very old thatched cottage. This is not in the modern era. This is maybe in the 15th century or 16th century. Past life connection, I don't know. But all I can do is tell you what I can see and to suggest that there is some kind of other feeling of something of the agrarian, something of the countryside associated with this connection or associated with either you or your potential partner. So, does the love of your life have feelings for you? Bottom line, yes. All right. The, it hasn't yet moved on to the level of making sure the communication does occur properly. All right. It's, it, it, it's, there's some communication aspect going on there, but it's not quite that solid. Now, the Magician card, that's an air card, that's a communication sign, that's a sign of healing. And, of course, the air signs here also have a healing component, if you can tell by looking at the serpentine imagery at the top there. So, there's some strong similarity and connection, maybe with your past, maybe with your natures, maybe with something else which has bound you together. But... Also, it doesn't feel like these are the most salient signs to me. It's the emotional signs which are the salient, most salient ones, the most powerful ones. Now it's a question of how on earth you're going to go through the process of making things work out better. Now let's have a look at the future part of the reading. Now, this is the probable outcome. This is not direct certainty. There is no direct certainty within any form of reading at all. But this is what the reading suggests is probably going to occur. A uh, sense of love, sense of pleasure, sense of happiness, okay? A sense of trying to move things on to a greater level of satisfaction. But the better quality of communication signs are occurring after you've had some communication. So why would they be occurring there and not here? 
Well, basically because there's going to be an opportunity for you to build a bond and start making something happen within three months from today's date, roughly speaking. And a sense that things will, after a period of time, a nurturing period of time, move on to the level whereby you can understand more and move on to the next stage. Now, let's just um, do what I would not normally do and give you another card straight from the deck there, okay? Okay, long-term future signs, very long-term future signs, namely after 12 months from now. Looking really rather interesting and intriguing. This is not someone who's left your life. This is someone who is kind of like lurking around in the background somehow. And someone who wants to try and make sure that they are the person for you. But it's also got to work out in accordance with their own plan. It's intriguing. And there is still this sense of there being connection and something of a really positive nature. But it's just not crystallized yet, so it doesn't feel perfect. And that's what's causing me personally a sense of frustration, because I feel that despite the fact we've got signs of pleasure and satisfaction here, the process, the actual process of bringing it on to this level, could be quite tricky. I think you can do it, but I still think it could be quite tricky. Alright, but your question was, does this person love you? The bottom line there is a resounding, seriously resounding yes. So now it's a question of taking the emotional side of things and moving that on to the world of action. Okay, so we've had a quick look at the reading. You've seen some of the cards which have turned up, some of the signs, some of the meanings, some of the other energies there. Looking rather intriguing in many different ways. I mean, this is what we could call a real connection, all right? But although there is a motivation for there to be something better happening, the the action component is, is somehow lacking. And the quality, when there is communication, has got to pick up somehow as well. These are things you've got to bear in mind. Uh, I still have a hell of a lot of hope for this to turn into a very good quality relationship. So don't worry, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged, okay? Uh, realize that it's a question of one step at a time and enjoy the progress and the journey because sometimes when there's a few challenges in a relationship, that can actually be very beneficial. But just remember, you know, there's, there's some good signs here. And just watch out for the progress. Okay? Good fortune, God and or Goddess and or none of the above. Bless. Uh, don't forget to submit your inquiries via private message and not in the comment section. Do comment by all means. But I can't keep track of the order. I've still got a backlog of, of about a month's worth of readings to get through in order to um, get them all up to date. Okay? So it's a question of basically one at a time, and I'm also doing this for free, despite the fact I'm also, you know, got, got to work, got to cover my bills and all the rest of that. So, look forward to speaking to you very, very, very soon. Great and glorious, and be famous one day, Dick Dutch, signing out for now.